Welcome back aliens, my name is Avin Reddy and let's continue with this series on Django. Now we have worked with registration and then we were also able to send the messages from the views to the page. But now, okay, so data is getting stored in the database, but now how will you log into the system? But before login again, we'll run the code just to create a new account. And this time we'll go for, let's say Praveen Reddy, uh, username is Praveen, email is Praveen at the rate .com. And the password, let's say uh, 0, 0, 0, 0, four zeros, and then same goes here. Click on submit. The moment it is done, you can see database in, in the database, it should be there. Let's verify. If I say right click, view all data. And we got a user, which is, you can see we got Praveen here. So this time we'll create a login form so that we can log in from this particular account. But how will you do that? Let's get, go back to the IDE and here we'll work with views now. Okay, but we don't even have a page where a user will enter username and password. So let's do that. Uh, so we'll go back to our templates. So this is where I want to create login.html. Okay, so if the moment you do that, you have to also create a form here and let's create a simple form. But then I'm not sure if I have done with the mapping here. So in the URLs, we have not done the mapping for lo login. So let's do that. So we'll say path and the path would be for login. It is views.login. We don't have that function as of now. Let's create that. And then we also need a name to it. We'll say login. Uh, we have done with the URL. In the views, we need login. I mean method for login, right? So we'll say def. And this is for login, which takes a request object. Okay. And then uh, so when, okay, we'll say pass till that point. Okay, so if you go back to login HTML, here we need two things, right? You will ask for username and password. So let's do that and that too in the form. So we'll say form first and form action. And when I say action, again, I will go for login. The same thing we have done for registration, right? We have get and post here as well use get and post. Uh, so this form submission should be of type post. And we have to also handle that token. Let's do that. Okay, now let's uh, create those two fields input type text. Now this will be your username, so I will say username. And then we also need a placeholder, username, we need a BR tag. The same thing can be reused, the only changes is the password and the username, I mean the name should be also password and the placeholder will be also password. That's done. And then we also need a button here, right? So how can we miss a button? Submit, that's it. We got a form and the moment you click on submit, it will call login. But in this views, you're not doing anything for login, right? So let's do that. In fact, what if the login is not right? Of course, you have to print the messages as well, right? We'll do that for that. Uh, in fact, we can copy the messages part uh, from this registration page. Why to come back again? We can simply print a message, right? Okay, let's say save, uh, it should be done. Okay, now go back to views and let's complete the login part. Now, first of all, this same function will be called for both the requests, the get request for login and the post request for login. Uh, so for, for get, we know what to do, right? We need to call login.jsp. And the way you can do that is, in fact, we'll check here. If the request.method is equal to equal to post, in this case, you will fetch the data and you will check but what if that's not the case? You will go for else part and you will call, in fact, you will render it, right? So we'll copy this code. So you will call the login.html file. That only in if it is not post, right? So here we'll say login.html. Now what if it is a post request? In that case, you will fetch the data first. Let's do that quickly. In fact, I will copy this time, why to type every time? So I want these two things here, paste. Uh, the only change here is I don't want password one, I just want password. That is done. I got two details. Now, how will you verify? Now, what do you think? Again, we have to file a SQL query. No, because we don't do that. Here, we'll use the existing object. So we'll say user equal to, but which object? Now, if you remember, we have also imported one more thing, which is auth. So using this auth, you can verify. So you can say auth dot. So it has a function, which is authenticate, which takes two parameters, of course, right? Username and password. So we'll say username equal to username and password is equal to password. So basically it is, it is expecting these two things from you. So if the same username and password exist, it will give you the user object. That means if you got the object, it's not none. That's what you have to check. So you will check if user is not none. If that is the case, that's how you verify. If, the, if, if this is the wrong username and password, it will, it will give you users none. And that's what you're checking. If it is not none, then you will say auth dot. So you have to give the login access to the user. And you will simply say login and you will pass request for which user, for the current user. That's done. And then you, okay, what you will do now? So once your login is complete, which form you will call? 
Uh, will you call registration? Of course not. Will you call login? No, I want to call the home page. So you will redirect. So you will say return redirect. In this case, you will call the home page by saying slash. It should be done. Okay. Else in the else part, because I also want the else part of it, right? What if the what if the user is not available? In this case, you will print a message. That's what you're doing, right? So you'll say messages dot info. In fact, you can also use uh, messages dot error. That also works. But in this case, I will use info. I will say request comma. And here I would say invalid credentials. That's the other message you get on the screen, right? But I also want to call the same page again because if the username is wrong, of course, you want to call the same page. So you will say return redirect. And this is where you will pass the name of the page, which is login, right? I hope the flow is clear now. So after login, it will call the home page. If the login is not right, it will call the login page again. But to make it also work, I also want to complete with registration because see, in registration, what we have done is in this, if the user is properly getting saved, I don't want to call the same page. I want to call the login page if this, this is done. So we'll say return. Let's go back to register in the views. And here we'll say redirect. I want to call the login page. Uh, this should work now. Let's go back here. I will say register. Oh, but what if we already have a registration here? Okay, there's something we are missing. We also need a login there, right? Uh, how will you get login here? So let's go back to index.html and we also need a login. So we'll say copy and paste because we have already registered. This time I want to go for login and this will be login. Save, go back, refresh. And now you can see we also got login there. Click on login. If we got login form, that's great. I will say Praveen and 0000, that's the password. Click on submit. You can see that it works. Let's do login again uh, with a different user this time. Or maybe wrong username and password, uh, which doesn't exist in a database. Click on submit. Uh, you can see we got invalid credentials. So it is working, right? But then still, uh, how do we know it's actually working? Even if you got the home page, in this case, you got the home page and the user is logged in. How will you show that the user is already logged in? Because if I, if you are logged in, that means you should not be showing this register and login again. You should be saying hello Praveen or hello Naveen. And then you should also get the option of logout. We don't have logout as of now. So that's something we need to do in this project. Okay, we'll do it. Uh, we let, let me just also verify register once with a new account. I will say Badresh and Solanki. Username is BS. Okay. And then password is one two three four, one two three four. Click on submit. Okay, so you can see after registration we got a login page. This is what we wanted. In fact, you can also do this. The moment someone registers, you can also do auto login. That's your choice. But we want to do this two steps. So I will say Solanki, and then here I will say one two three four. Click on submit. It works, right? But then there is one only one change. You want to change this register to log. I mean register and login to the user if it is logged in. And how will you do that? That will see in the next video. So I hope you are enjoying this series. Let me in the comment section and do subscribe for, for the videos. Bye.